Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to build update employee REST API. So let us go to our project in English IDEA. Well, first we want to change the service layer and then we will change the controller layer because the controller layer is depends on service layer. So let us go to employee service interface over here. Within this interface, let us define the method. So here let us give employee DTO as a return type of the method and let us give method name as update employee and let us pass employee id as a post parameter and employee dto as a second parameter and this employee dto basically contains the updated employee details okay so let us call it as updated employee okay perfect now we have defined update employee method in a employee service interface next let us implement this method in a employee service impl class so let us go to employee service impl class over here just mouse over in this class click on this implement methods and then click on ok method now let us go and let us implement update employee method within update employee method let us first add the validation like if employee with a given id is not exist in database then we have to throw the resource not found exception isn't it so let us write that logic here so just call employee repository it has find by id method and notice here find by id method returns optional app type employee so let us call find of id method over here and then pass employee id as a parameter and then optional has or else throw method so let us call or else throw method over here and notice here or else throw method takes supplier as a functional interface and we have to provide the lambda expression implementation for this supplier functional interface so just call this method and then let us construct the lambda expression so here new resource not found exception and then let us pass the custom exception message let us say employee it employees not exist with given id and then pass employee id dynamically perfect next let me put the semicolon over here all right and this or else throw method returns a employee object so here let us take the result of or else throw method in a local variable of type employee perfect next we have the updated employee object it contains all the employee updated information so let us set all the details from updated employee object into this employee object okay so here employee dot set first name and then updated employee dot get first name employee dot set last name and then updated employee dot get last name employee dot set email and then updated employee dot get email perfect next let us call employee repository it has a save method and then pass this employee object okay so here basically we have updated this employee object with first name last name email and again we are saving this employee object by using save method so basically this save method perform both save and update operation well if employee object contains id then this save method internally perform the update operation and if employee id doesn't contain the primary key id then it will perform the insert you know operation all right next this save method returns the updated employee object so here let us declare the updated employee object like this perfect next if you can see here update employee method returns to employee dto so let us convert this updated employee object jp entity into employee dto so here go to return statement remove this null and then call employee mapper it has map to employee dto method and then pass updated employee object as a parameter now we have implemented update employee method in a employee service IMPL class next let us create the rest api that will internally call this update employee method so go to employee controller over here within employee controller let us build update employee rest api so here let me first write the comment build update employee rest api let us first create a method and then we will convert that method into rest api by using spring annotations so here just type public response entity and then pass employee dto as a type let us give method name as update employee 
all right and let us pass employee id as a first argument and employee detail as a second argument so this employee detail is nothing but updated employee information perfect next let us call employee service it has update employee method and then pass employee id as a first parameter updated employee as a second parameter perfect next this update employee method returns employee dto so here let us have a local variable of type employee dto all right next let us have return statement return response entity and then call okay method and then pass employee dto all right now we have created update employee method let us make this method as a rest api by using spring annotations so let us annotate this method with at put mapping annotation well we use at put mapping annotation to map incoming http put request to this method next let us pass the id so here is the syntax within a open and close curly braces just pass the id so this id is nothing but a uri template variable and we need to bind the value of this uri template variable to the method argument so in order to do that we can use add path variable annotation over here and next let us pass the uri template variable that is id perfect next we need to use one more annotation that is add request body annotation well this add request body annotation will basically extract the updated json from the request and it will convert that json into employee dto java object okay perfect now we have built update employee rest api next let us rerun our spring boot application and let us test this rest api using postman client so from here i am going to stop and rerun the spring boot application well notice here our spring boot application is up and running in a better tomcat server on port 8080 next let us go to postman client over here and here let me copy this url and let me create the new request and here let us choose http put method and let us enter the request url localhost 8000 slash api slash employees and then we need to pass the employee id that we are going to update so let us say we are going to update the employee with id 1 all right next let us pass the updated information in the body so click on body raw content type json and here we need to pass the json so here let me quickly create the json post name well if you go to my sql bench and go to employees table over here and if you look at here employee id 1 has a first name ramesh last name Pardari, email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com so let us update all these three column values so let us update the first name from ramesh to ram last name from Pardari to jadav email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com to ram at the rate gmail.com all right so let us go back to postman client and here let us give the updated first name that is ram and last name jadav email ram at the rate gmail.com next go ahead and click on send button over here and there we go you can see the response the post name is updated last name is updated and email is also updated let us verify this information in database table as well so let us go back to mysql bench and here let us select rows from employees table notice here the employee id1 the post name is changed from ramesh to ram last name is changed from parthari to jadav email id is changed from ramesh at the rate gmail.com to ram at the rate gmail.com it means we have successfully built update employee rest api all right great in next lecture we'll build delete employee rest api all right great i will see you in the next lecture